Hello everyone. This tutorial has been requested multiple times, and it is basically how to be able to trade events or mythical Pokemon on the Gen 6 GTS and Wonder Trade. Before I continue the tutorial, I do want to make it known for those that do not know me, is I do have an anxiety problem as well as a small stutter, so if I continue to stutter, pause in the middle of my statements, or if I mispronunciate some words, I highly apologize, I'm going to try my absolute best not to do so, and I even have to write down everything I wanted to say, that way I don't stutter too hard. Um, but to continue this tutorial, first off, it does require a homebrewed 3DS console. Homebrew and CFW are corresponding terms. CFW means custom firmware, which is the basis of homebrewing. You can either buy a pre-homebrewed console online or do it yourself for free at home. I have a video titled, How to Make Legally Gen Pokemon Using PKSM on a CFW 3DS Console. And in that video, not only do I show you how to make properly gen Pokemon, but in the pinned comment of that video, I do have a tutorial that I recommend for people to watch so then they can homebrew their console easily. It takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, and it requires you to have a laptop, Chromebook, or even a PC and such that has an SD reader in it. Um, if you have a new 3DS XL console or a new 2DS XL console, you do need a micro SD adapter in order to read that small micro SD card. So again, please check that video out, which I will once again put on screen. So please once again check this video out here, so then you can learn how to properly homebrew and make Pokemon. So for those that are already prepared and have homebrewed their console and whatnot, let's get straight into PKSM. And once you're already in the, in the PKSM application, click Game Save File, click on Editor. And here I have an Xerneas that I will be using for this example here. Um, I know you guys see the AC flow in my party box. Those are for showcase purposes only. It is not possible to trade or battle with these Pokemon in the party online. AZ Floet and all these shiny locked Pokemon are unused assets in the game. So only people that have a custom firm or 3DS can create these Pokemon. But unfortunately, you cannot distribute these Pokemon to other players. It is only for offline use only. You can show these to people online in trades, but unfortunately you cannot uh, basically give these Pokemon to other people. So for people that ask for AZ Floet, I regret to inform you that it is not possible for you to retrieve it unless you learn how to gen and make it for yourself. Um, so continuing on with this Xerneas here is basically what is it that makes a mythical or an event Pokemon impossible to trade on the GTS and Wonder Trade? It's literally just their event ribbon. So for this example here, I know that he had the classic ribbon. So the ribbon data basically makes the Pokemon say it's a special Pokemon. To remove this ribbon is what allows you to place these Pokemon on the GTS or Wonder Trade them. It does not make the event information unrecognizable or give it invalid information. Removing the ribbon just makes it have a inv invalid ribbon data. Basically, it cannot read the data off of the ribbon, but it does not affect the Pokemon nor its event information, which is the key component. So, at the bottom screen, you see on the top right of the bottom screen, next to this little icon that has a player icon with an arrow pointing to it, click that, and you will get into the hex byte database. So, from the first row, scroll down until you start seeing stuff and information about ribbons. So, when you start seeing the ribbon stuff, scroll over to the right, and you'll see that there's a whole plethora of ribbon information. So, like I said, I already had taken the ribbon off of the Xerneas, but first I'm going to put it, the classic ribbon back on. So, you see that it turns green, let's check the Pokemon, and it is legal with the ribbon. So, you go ahead, go back in it, tap it again to remove the greenness off of it, which removes the ribbon, and now it's going to say invalid ribbon error, basically. So, once again, taking away this ribbon is what takes away the text box, this is a special Pokemon. That's all it is. It's a whole text box that basically makes the trainer the owner of this Pokemon and basically keeps that restriction that you can't trade it on the GTS and Wonder Trade. Mythicals have been bypassed onto the GTS since Gen 4 days. So it's always been a thing, it's nothing new. People have been doing this for years now. No, it will not get you banned, even for removing the ribbon data off of it. It's not gonna get you banned, not possible to get you banned. So literally just removing the ribbon is what makes it able to trade. So next up, let's do it with a mythical. So here I'm gonna go into the events database and let's pick out a mythical. 
So this here is the event database section. This is basically an event database of every single event or mystery gift that has ever occurred depending on what game you are using PKSM on. So if you're using Ultra Sun, it will show you every single event that has ever occurred in Ultra Sun. And it shows it for any game that you have currently on your 3DS console. So, for now I'm using X and Y. So it's going to show me every single event that has ever occurred in X and Y. So here I'm going to be grabbing a event Hoopa. And you see at the bottom where it says Injection Slot. I'm going to be choosing Injection Slot 3 because that is an empty space. You can just change to whatever slot that you want. So you can have, you know, all the slots filled up or whatever you'd like to do. So I'm going to have it in slot 3 and I press Start to inject it into my game. So now that we're back on the game, I'm going to basically make a slot in my party um, so then I'm able to receive this mystery gift. So now that I've released this Pokemon, I'm going to be retrieving the Hoopa from the mystery gift lady. So there we go, there's the Hoopa. And then afterwards, I'm going to be saving my game here. And once the game is saved, I'm going to go straight back to PKSM. So as I'm heading back into PKSM, it's gonna be the same process. I'm gonna just click on PKSM, the application. I'm gonna let it load up, click my game, click on where it says game save file, and click on editor. And in here you will see that my Hoopa is now in my PC boxes. It's gonna be in the party box section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over the Hoopa and press X to clone it. I could just drag it into my PC boxes, but instead I wanna clone it because I wanna have one duplication for one that's gonna keep the ribbon on and one duplication for one that's gonna have the ribbon off of it. So, for the one that's going to be having the ribbon off of it, of course I'm going to be wonder trading it. So, I'm going to at least edit the Pokemon to be somewhat decent and usable for people. So, I'm going to make the Hoopa a modest nature one. It's going to have 5 IVs max because it is not necessary to have a 6 IV Pokemon. Because 1 IV is not going to be usable on the Pokemon anyways. So, I'm going to be removing the attack IV since it is a special attacker. I'm going to give it its max EVs for speed and special attack. And I know I'm running 5555, five, whatever. Um, I know it's 252 max. Um, it will auto-correct it for you. So I just write whatever I can as fast as I can, because so, I already know it's going to auto-correct it, so don't worry. And I'm going to edit the moves accordingly to its nature and stats. So after I finish doing all of this, of course, I'm going to go straight into the game and I'm going to showcase basically um, the one with the ribbon and prove that it has the ribbon on it and then I'm going to showcase the one without the ribbon and prove that it has no ribbon on it. So now of course I'm heading back onto the game and I'm going to go straight into wonder trading. So here is of course the Pokemon, here is the Hoopas and I'm going to show you that it has, you know, one has no ribbon on it and one has uh, a ribbon on it. So of course, with the one that has the ribbon on it, it's going to say that this is a special Pokemon and it cannot be able to Wonder Trade. And of course, I'm gonna show you the one without the ribbon and prove that it can now trade now that the ribbon is completely off of it. So there you go, it is Wonder Trading and it's going to be able to basically find someone on the Wonder Trade and they will get a nice little uh, competitive Hoopa to keep in their PC boxes. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you're able to trade mythicals and event Pokemon on the GCS and Wonder Trade, you just remove the ribbon. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to respectfully ask me in the comments section. And again, if you guys need the link to my tutorial on how to make legally gen Pokemon, then feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll send you the direct link if you cannot find it in the search bar or on my videos playlist. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for listening and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. 